have the main wings, we have the horizontal stabilizer, and we have the vertical stabilizer. And each of these are wings that are composed of airfoil cross sections along their span. And that goes as well for the parts that make, make them up. So, for example, we have this rib on the tip of this wing, and here we've got an airfoil cross section like this, a cambered one right there. And if we go, if we look deeper in the wing, we can see we have other ribs that have a similar airfoil cross section with, say, here we've got cutouts for the spars and for the stringers. And if we take a look at the H stab, in this case we've got another airfoil cross section which is slightly cambered but actually upside down in relation to the, the main wing. And then finally if we take a look at the vertical stabilizer, here we've got a symmetric airfoil cross section. So these airfoil curves are splines that are defined by a set of points. We don't see the points in the final parts here, but those points do define those curves. And so the way they work is by deflecting the air and changing its direction as it passes around them. And those create the forces of lift and drag and the moments of these forces. So those forces are central to wing design and to aircraft design. So in the next videos in this series, we're going to learn how to get a sketch of an airfoil by first drawing it ourselves and then by importing airfoils from a, a resource online. And then we're going to learn to get a physical interpretation of the performance characteristics of airfoils.